collusion <laughs> between an entertainment show and the government of the United States. And that was entertaining. So I mean, it, it was a rewrite. Indirectly, rewrite. McCarthy is also well, McCarthy exactly. admitted he that he had to give yeah. him he the tape. Him Tucker just said, Oliver, um, the crowd was... <laughs> The crowd was enormous, he says. A small percentage of them were hooligans. They committed vandalism. You've seen their pictures again and again. But the overwhelming majority were not. They were peaceful, orderly, and neat. They were sightseers. I mean, yeah. that's, that wasn't the news part of that day. The news part of the day was that there was an insurrection. It was the hundreds of people who caused damage and injury and insurrection. I think he's missing maybe the headline from that day. Yeah, and how they got in the Capitol by overrunning the Capitol Police. That, that, that's, that's a key part of this, obviously. Um, what we saw tonight, Allison, from Tucker is, is nothing new. He has been trying to sanitize the very real violence that we all saw uh, unfold at the U.S. Capitol in real time for uh, quite some time. Yes, welcome back. Tucker Carson is training on social media. I just realized CNN, Chuck Schumer, the view host, they are all marching down that the footages that Tucker Carson bring out are all lies. I don't know if you have seen these videos. I have four clips I'm going to show you so you can see exactly what is happening. I don't understand what is actually happening. I'm looking at a footage, it's telling me something they didn't say, but they are calling it a lie. That he's feeding his followers with lies. Especially CNN. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. And if possible, why not share this clip? Last night, Tucker Carlson cherry-picked video surveillance from the January 6th insurrection, severely downplaying the events of that day. Uh, he said the mob was orderly and meek and that they were tourists instead of insurrectionists. What's your response to Carlson and to Speaker Kevin McCarthy, who granted him access to that video? Um, anybody who watched that video would strongly degree, disagree. Anybody who watched that video uh, in a with their own eyes in a real way and saw what happened on that day would, would disagree with what was just stated. Um, the president has been very clear. January 6th was the worst attack on our democracy since the Civil War, and we should be focused on making sure that never happens again. And so we are certainly, uh, we agree. I know um, uh, minority leader and... Uh, Speaker McCarthy was here that day. He knows what actually happened. His staff and members suffered like everyone else, but he chose cheap political expediency over truth and preservation of democracy. I condemn Mr. Carlson for siding with the enemies of democracy. I strongly condemn Speaker McCarthy's actions and fiercely oppose his decision to share this footage with Carlson. I urge Fox News to order Carlson to cease propagating the big lie on his network and to level with their viewers about the truth, the truth behind the efforts to mislead the public. Conduct like theirs is just asking for another January 6th to happen. It is actually sad that these people will see the truth they will see play politics. They will see play blind games. Taking a look at Chuck Schumer here, what he's struggling to say that Tokakas is lying. Discussing this video with one of my friends, this is what he wrote. It is amazing to me that this man can look directly at video footage of what is occurring and have such a colossal disconnect in his brain that is just continuous to spread verbal diarrhea. Now, Chuck Schumer says Fox News should stop Tucker Carson from showing these. I'm not refusing that something like this never happened, but 
when you want to pass out information to the public, convey it in such a way that people will not look at you like a liar because liars is already training on Twitter. They lie to the public about what happened. That is what a lot of people are saying. And this guy is facing four years in jail. When you look at that footage, you will see that he was actually being directed by the police. Enter here, go outside here. So what then? Can you actually convince me that this was a lie? Because I don't understand. I have watched the footage over and over compared to what we saw. Totally different things. It was like a different kind of footage, you know? Police officers, the Capitol Hill staff members, mm -hmm. you know, people even from Kevin McCarthy's own staff who were inside that building. It's tragic to watch this play out, and I hope that those tapes get released more broadly so that factually moving forward. Also, I think it's worth pointing out that when you see what they're talking about, what you see on the footage of how the Capitol Police officers are acting that day, is that a lot of them testified. They felt like they couldn't really engage in a certain way with the rioters because they were outnumbered. They were so greatly outnumbered that they were worried about escalating it. So when they try to say, oh, well, they're just walking them through, they're doing this, that was actually uh, their testimony. We'll see what Every footage. Time, can I just read this, please? I'm sorry. Every time the pain of that day seems to have ebbed a bit, organizations like Fox rip our wounds wide open again, and we are frankly sick of yeah. it. That's from the sickening. Yes, and that is one point they have touched, and I agree. I feel sad that this is actually coming back, but they should also think how Democrats took this, politicized this. That is what they did all throughout during the elections. We all saw that. Entertainment, I actually don't think that they believe that it's not true. I think that they believe what he says. I think they treat him yeah. as some what's uh, of, of, of a messiah. But what hurts me to my core is that I've become friends with, I was always friends with a lot of Capitol Police officers, as I'm sure you have uh, been as well. And they are the best of the best. And I've become friends with, with Officer Harry Dunn. Remember the tall, yeah. tall man? He is still hurt to this yeah. day yeah. over what happened. His PTSD, those officers are, are suffering terribly. How dare you? How dare you, Tucker Carlson? It is beneath the dignity of any American Wait, let's not to get, dismiss listen, their experience. Sonny, let's not let um, McCarthy go well, off the hook. That's the, well, that's the okay. I'll let you because take what, that one but, over. But what you're really looking at is a collusion <coughs> between an entertainment show and the government of the United States. And that States. was entertaining. So I mean, it, it was a rewrite.